Can I ask you a question? What the hell you want to ask me? Mrs. Wiki is the one you got the questions for. How come you ain't never liked me? Liked you? Who in the hell ever said, I got to like you? What law is there to say, I got to like you? Do you want to stand up in my face and ask me some damn fool ass question like that? Talking about liking somebody. Come here, boy, when I talk to you. Straighten up, goddammit. I asked you a question. What law is there to say, I got to like you? None. All right, then. Don't you eat every day? Answer me when I talk to you. Don't you eat every day? Yeah. Nigga, as long as you live in my house, you put a sir on the end of it when you talk to me. Yes, sir. You eat every day. Yes, sir. Got a roof over your head. Yes, sir. And clothes on your back. Yes, sir. Why do you think that is? Because of you. Hell, I know it's because of me. Why do you think that is? Because you like me. Like you. I go out of here every morning and bust my butt putting up with them crackers all day long because I like you. You is the biggest fool I ever saw. It is my job. It is my responsibility. You understand that? A man got to take care of his family. You live in my house. You sleep your behind on my bedclothes. You put my food in your belly because you are my son. You are my flesh and blood, not because I like you. It is my duty to take care of you. I owe a responsibility to you. Wait now. Let's get this straight right now. But go along any further. I ain't got to like you. Mr. Rand, don't give me my money come payday because he liked me. He give me because he owe me. Now, I didn't give you everything I had to give you. I gave you your life. Your mama and me worked it out between us. And lacking your black ass was not a part of the bargain. And don't you try and go through life worried if somebody like you or not. You best make sure that they are doing right by you. You understand what I'm saying, boy? Yes, sir. Then you get the best. August Wilson's Fences intricately weaves together themes of generational trauma the struggle for personal identity within the limitations of societal expectations, and the complexities of family dynamics all set against the backdrop of African-American life in the 1950s. Anyone who takes a deep look at the play will realize the story is fixated on the idea of the American dream and the history behind it, told from an African-American's perspective at a time when the black man's experience in the U.S. was evolving slowly in 1950s America. August Wilson was an incredible writer and an even more thrilling playwright. Fences was one of his best works. The attention to detail in the play is exquisite. August's superpower is his ability to weave the characters uniquely to the theme of the play in a bid to explore the societal realities of being a black man in the 50s, depicting its damaging impact set in a decade of evolution in America's history. We will analyze Wilson's Fences, the hidden meaning behind each unique character in the play, and how they all sink into the play's theme to give you all a fresh perspective on the story. In the 1980s, Wilson wrote a series of 10 plays, each representing the African-American experience of a decade in the 20th century. Fences focus on the 1950s, a time when the end of segregation was just beginning and new opportunities for black people were starting to open up, albeit slowly. Fences is based on the time when black people dare to dream. Every single character, symbol, and motif Wilson used in Fences creates a perfect symphony of each character neatly interwoven in the fabric of the story to express a time of hope and yet unveil the consequences of segregation and its everlasting impact on the state of mind. Troy Maxson. Troy is the main protagonist of the play. He's a victim of the severe limitations placed upon his race during his lifetime. Troy Maxson is a very talented baseball player but never got a chance to compete in the major leagues despite his abilities. Due to the racial segregation at the time, he's forced to play in the Negro League. He ends up working as a garbage collector, barely able to support his family, but he keeps up the fight for equality even at his workplace. He fights to become a driver at his workplace, a job predominantly given to a white man. 
Life experiences as a black man in America took their toll on him and turned him into a bitter man. He's blinded to the new reality and opportunities that are beginning to open up to African Americans. Troy refuses to allow his son Corey to take advantage of a football scholarship, believing strongly he will only meet disappointment, a reflection of his own life experiences. The choice of representing the protagonist's character as Troy Maxson by Wilson was intentional. The word Troy represents the concept of strength and resilience. And if y'all remember the Greek stories, Troy was a city that resisted a siege for about 10 years before it eventually got broken into. To have resisted the might of the Greek army, it took a lot of perseverance and resistance, hence the meaning behind Troy. Despite what you might think of Troy's character as a human being, it is important to note that he was resilient, strong, and persevered through life's challenges and the imposed limitations on his kind. He wasn't perfect, and he did make a lot of mistakes, but just like the meaning behind his name, he was just a broken black man who had lost faith in humanity despite being so strong for so long. Using Maxson as the sure name for Troy's character was a unique choice too. The name has some deep meaning that resonates with Troy's character and the storyline as a whole. Maxson is a blend of the words Mason and Dixon. If you're familiar with America's history, you'll acknowledge that the Mason-Dixon line meant the imaginary line between the slave-owning states from the non-slave-owning states before the final abolition of slavery after the Civil War. It's important to note that the setting of August Wilson's play is more focused on the segregation period in the 1950s. The most compelling reason why Troy has Maxson as his last name in the play is that he's got one foot in the time frame when segregation was legally allowed and another foot in when segregation was abolished. That is, he was an embodiment of two realities. As a result of experiencing both ends of the spectrum, his personality in the play is split. He feels the idea of a new America is an illusion, and he just can't bring himself to trust a system that has discriminated against him for so long. The use of Maxim by August Wilson was to represent the duality of Troy's reality. Disillusionment versus hope, lies versus truth, and hoes versus love. A perfect reflection of this is his relationship with his son. While Corey thinks his dad hates him, the reality is Troy loves him, and the best way he knows how to express that love is by not signing those papers. Rose is Troy's devoted and loving wife. She is the mother of Corey and the stepmother of Lyons. In the play, she's portrayed as a kind and patient woman who loves her family to a fault and missed all the struggle. And she views the fences in the story as a symbol of keeping those she loves safe and close. When she found out Troy had fathered a child with another woman, her loyalty didn't waver. She was angry, but she still raised the child as her own. She also defends Troy to Corey when he refuses to attend his father's funeral even though Troy hasn't been a faithful husband. The choice of using Rose to represent her character in the play is in perfect symphony with the actual meaning of the name, Rose. In literature, Rose represents the idea of timeless and or eternal love, and we see that with Rose's character in Fences. Despite all the awful things Troy does to her, Rose still sticks with him. Granted, her choices are limited in the time frame of the story. Nonetheless, she still demonstrates timeless acts of love to Troy and even to his illegitimate daughter, whom she treats like her own child. If y'all remember the dialogue between Rose and Troy when he told her about his affair, she literally compares herself to a flower. She said, Troy, I took all my feelings, my wants, and needs, and dreams, and I buried them inside you. I planted a seed and watched and prayed over. I planted myself inside you and waited to bloom. It didn't take me no 18 years to realize the soil was hard and rocky and it was never gonna bloom. Viola Davis gave a perfect delivery of this dialogue. This rendition shows the level of perfection with which August Wilson crafted each character down to the last detail. Lyons is Troy's adult son from his first marriage. He has a dream to make it as a musician. Even as a grown-up, he asks his father for money every payday. He grew up in Troy's absence, as he was in jail for most of his childhood. Using Lyons to depict this character was a bang-on decision by August. The meaning of Lyons is quite self-explanatory. Even Gabe calls Lyons the king of the jungle in the play. The way Lyons' character is presented in the play shows clearly the reason why the name was used to portray the character. Lyons shows a level of courage that Troy couldn't show, nor did any of the other characters in the play except for Corey. Lyons found the courage to pursue his dream of making it as a musician. He was quite talented, and even though he found little success, he kept trying. Lyons ends up serving time in jail, a reflection of his father's life. The beginning and end of his character are a perfect illustration of the negative impact the absence of a father figure can have on a child. Corey. Anyone who's seen Fences will remember Corey's character. He is Rose and Troy's son. Corey is a talented football player and a hard-working boy with lots of potential. He resents his father for denying him the opportunity to go to college and for cheating on his mother. 
Corey joins the Marines after the dreams of college got dashed, but he remains ambitious. He gets more opportunities than his father and never gives up hope. Corey's character is the emotional center of the play and the choice to name him Corey is a symphony between the literal meaning of the name and the character it represents. Corey means heart. A perfect choice for a character who was willing to pursue his dreams no matter what. Like his brother Lyons, he wasn't very successful. Corey's character in Fences embodies hope for the future, unmet by the pessimism of his father who believes strongly that his relationship with his son is born out of sheer duty, not love. Corey has an optimistic view of his future. He dares to dream. Though the world was changing and opportunities were starting to open up for black people, Troy views Corey's career aspirations as idealistic and detached from the realities of the extremely racist society he has always known. August Wilson casts Corey as an opposing force to Troy's views and values, which he holds dear, and this class drives the story at the core of Fences. Raynell Raynell is the illegitimate daughter of Troy and his girlfriend, Alberta. She dies in childbirth and Rose raises Raynell. Raynell's character represents hope for the future, as she is the only child of Troy who will grow up in a reformed society without the scars of her father's reality. At one point in the play, Rose tells Troy, after learning the truth about Raynell's impending birth, that she doesn't want anything half in her family because she is the living testimony of a household filled with half families. The appearance of Raynell therefore challenges Rose's ideal sense of family unified by a parental biological blood, and her decision to raise the child as her own showcases the depth of her character. Raynell's character challenges the fences that Rose envisions as surrounding, protecting, and holding family together. The literal meaning of Raynell is hope and a new beginning, and that's exactly what the character represents, further showing the attention to detail in the storyline. The whole theme of Fences is the damaging impact of segregation and other forms of racism, but it also demonstrates the beginning of hope for black people to experience the American dream. This begs the question, how does August perceive the American dream in Fences? According to Jess Bean's thesis, August Wilson contrasts the motifs of death in baseball with seeds and growth to convey how the hope to live out the true American dream lies within the family. The portrayal of Troy's character throughout the play was August's way of showing viewers and readers that true happiness lies within. Fences is full of symbolism. August Wilson's intricate detailing of each component of the play was genius. The fence that Troy built has different symbolic meanings to each character in the play. For Troy, it represents the feeling of being trapped, and this kind of explains why he took so long to finish building it. Troy feels trapped by his crushed dreams and responsibilities to his family. He feels he has little control over how his life should be, which is perhaps the reason why he cheats on his wife to feel free from the obligations he's been confined to. To Rose, the fence represents her strong will to keep her loved ones protected and close to her, further explaining why she wants it built. The fence was challenged by the arrival of Raynell, but it didn't alter her perception of what the fence represents. Another important symbol in the play is baseball. August Wilson associated baseball with Troy in the play to express the history of his fight for equality and where it stems from. Baseball represents life to Troy, and he uses it often to explain life. A perfect example would be where he told Corey he would kick him out of the house after three strikes. The garden and seeds symbolize the importance of patience and nurturing, two traits Rose embodies greatly. Throughout the play, her strongest characteristics were patience and nurturing. She taught Raynell the importance of patience and nurturing when she told her about the seeds they planted in the garden. In conclusion, Fences by August Wilson stands as a powerful exploration of race, family, identity, and the enduring impact of systemic injustices on African American lives. Through its Rich characterizations and poignant themes, the play invites deep reflection on the complexities of human relationships, societal constraints, and the quest for personal fulfillment in the face of adversity. If you enjoyed this video, share, like, and subscribe to our channel.